how do you use algebra to describe the pattern of circles? To describe the pattern of a line algebraically, use an equation such as y equals mx plus b. But what equation would you use to describe the pattern of a circle? In this lesson, you will learn to derive the equation of a circle centered at the origin by using the Pythagorean theorem. Let's review this. For any right triangle, the length of the legs and the hypotenuse have a special relationship described by the Pythagorean theorem. If the lengths of the legs are a and b and the length of the hypotenuse is c, then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Let's look at circles. A circle is a set of all points that are equidistant from a specific point in the plane. This point is called the center of the circle and the distance between any point on the circle and the center is called the radius. So how can we use what we know about circles and the Pythagorean theorem to find an equation that describes every point on a circle? Well, let's begin with a line that passes through the origin and through the point x, y. All of the points on the line follow the same pattern determined by the slope of the line. Using an equation that describes the pattern we can find other points that are on the same line. Let's apply this to circles. We have a circle that passes through the point x, y, and it's centered at the origin. All of the points on the circle follow the same pattern. And this is determined by their distance from the center of the circle. So in order to find other points on the same circle, you need an equation that describes the pattern of the circle and that's determined by its radius. So how do we find the radius of the circle that passes through x, y? We start by drawing a vertical line from the point x, y to the x axis. We need to know the length of this line. Because the y coordinate of a point describes its distance from the x axis, we can figure that the length of the line is equal to the y coordinate, or in this case, y. Next we need to know how far that line is from the y-axis. Well, the x-coordinate of a point describes its distance from the y-axis, so then we can figure that the distance is equal to the x-coordinate, or x in this case. Do you see the right triangle? The length of the legs are x and y, and the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the radius. R. Because the Pythagorean theorem describes the relationship between the leg lengths of a right triangle and its hypotenuse, we can use it here. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. By substituting x, y, and r into this equation for a, b, and c, we get an equation that describes the relationship between x, y, and r. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. This equation describes every point on the circle centered at the origin 0, 0. Therefore, the equation of a circle centered at the origin is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Now, to be clear, just like y equals mx is the equation of any line that passes through the origin with the slope m, x squared plus y squared equals r squared is the equation of any circle centered at the origin with radius r. To describe a specific line with the equation y equals mx, we first need to know the slope. For example, if I have a line with slope 3 over 2, the equation of the line is y equals 3 over 2 x. Now we can use this equation to find other points on the line or to determine if a point is not on the line. Likewise, to describe a specific circle with x squared plus y squared equals r squared, you must first know the radius. For example, the radius of this circle is 8. So the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared equals 8 squared. Or we could simplify that to x squared plus y squared equals 64. Now with this equation, we can find other points on the circle or determine if a point is on the circle or not. 
let's try writing an equation of a circle centered at the origin and passes through 0.68. Because the equation of a circle is dependent on its radius, we need to know what the radius is. So the first thing we do is we draw a right triangle. We can figure out that the leg lengths are equal to the x and y coordinates, 6 and 8. So using Pythagorean theorem, we get 6 squared plus 8 squared equals r squared. Squaring the numbers, we get 36 plus 64 equals r squared. Simplify that, 100 equals r squared. Take the square root of both sides of the equation, and we get plus or minus 10 equals r. Now, we're talking about the radius, which is a distance, so we're only going to use the positive square root. So the radius of the circle is 10 units. Now that we know the radius of the circle, we can write the equation as x squared plus y squared equals 10 squared, or x squared plus y squared equals 100. And when we know the equation of a circle, we can use it to find other points on the circle, or to determine if a point is on the circle or not. So in this lesson, you have learned to derive the equation of a circle centered at the origin by using the Pythagorean theorem.